Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, with liquor shows, desolate search, peasant vassals, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome, and today, uh, let's go to Syria. Or actually, uh, technically right now, uh, Israel, the occupied Golan Heights. And we have a, uh, Syrian fighter jet that was, uh, shot down, uh, entering Israeli airspace, uh, by a Patriot missile. And, uh, I find that, uh, rather troubling for a number of reasons. One is the fact that, of course, we've had numerous airstrikes and violations of Syrian airspace by Israeli jets, and none of them were shot down. And uh, they were actually in Syria uh, to blow shit up and have done so on numerous occasions over the last couple of years and take, took it advantage of uh, the uh, civil war in Syria and kicking them while they're down. And yet we have a, uh, a Syrian jet that accidentally... Uh, finds itself in Israeli airspace and is immediately shot down. Um, no mercy. And uh, so, just kind of struck by the disparity there, particularly because uh, what we have is a Syrian jet that was undoubtedly uh, attacking probably uh, either ISIS or Al-Qaeda positions, and you'd think that uh, that would be okay, uh, considering the fact that we have uh, uh, U.S., in uh, allied uh, airstrikes against ISIS in Iraq, we have uh, now we have U.S. and allied airstrikes against ISIS in Syria, and we've also had Syrian jets uh, attacking ISIS, ISIS positions in Syria, as well as uh, a, at least one documented case of Syrian jets attacking ISIS, ISIS positions in in Iraq, and uh, and then we have Iranian uh, pilots flying uh, airstrikes inside Iraq as well. So that's that seems to be a bit confusing as well. If everybody else is on board with uh, fighting ISIS and, and Al-Qaeda, then uh, you'd think Israel would be too. So for some reason they uh, were protecting uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS and uh, uh, Syrian opposition forces in the Golan Heights uh, with Israeli uh, air defenses. Um, and then, as we know, uh, of course, Israel has uh, field hospitals in the Golan Heights that serve service the wounded from ISIS and in, uh, in the uh, El Nusra Front, Al Qaeda elements. Uh, and this is also documented. I brought up in other videos. So, just a rather strange uh, relationship here. It just seems like maybe uh, Israel would want to be on the side of, say, uh, I don't know, the good guys. And uh, you know, sometimes I think if uh, Israel was a person instead of a country, they'd be an asshole. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.